My mom uh, died of pancreatic cancer two years ago. She was diagnosed the day after her 60th birthday very unexpectedly and told that she had 12 months to live and four short months later she passed away. Pancreatic cancer was something I wasn't even aware of. I didn't even know anything about it until my husband, out of the clear blue, was diagnosed. As a pancreatic cancer survivor, when you say, I have pancreatic cancer, you no longer see the person's eyes. The eyes go straight to the floor, and it's almost like um, it's a death sentence. Well, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer on December 19th, 2002. And so uh, it was a, a rude awakening. Cancer really wasn't a big part of our life, but uh, it, uh, uh, it was a, you know, it's, it's a devastating disease, and we learned in a hurry that uh, it's very, uh, can be very discouraging. Pancreatic cancer is the cancer that causes the, the worst possible survival of any tumor type. It's a bad killer that we haven't made much impact on. What Tijin offered me that no one else did, and Dr. Von Hoff specifically, was let's take this to the next level. Howard, you've had pancreatic cancer. It's, uh, you've had the best of a bad situation so far, but that you've got to focus and, uh, on your individual cancer. And let's test that. Let's go to the next level and see if it exhibits any markers that we can treat. And in my case, they did. And uh, I, I did, you know, uh, go through some additional chemotherapy that was targeted toward the markers expressed by my tumor, which was, was great because that's going the next the extra mile, which is uh, often the difference between life and death. We think this is a very unique, uh, really proving ground to put that tremendous laboratory strength together with clinical strength. And everybody has the same drive. Do something against the disease. It's not science for the purpose of science, it's science for the purpose of making a difference for patients. You don't see that everywhere. You see this big smile, it's so exciting. Um, you know, dealing with it for 12 years, it took me five years to find a survivor or anyone that would even talk about pancreatic cancer. And so this, I just feel that uh, the awareness and the acceleration of the research is going to come from teaching, and it's exciting for the entire community. There are cures that are on the way, and the ultimate cure, I believe, is, is going to be there. But we just got to work to enable those scientists to, to make that happen. The lesson is simple. Make the investment. It'll pay off in terms of lives saved. And so uh, we really need people's help in patients for patients with pancreas cancer, because we know that with proper investment and appropriate uh, getting out there and raising the funds to do it, it'll make a huge difference.